hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're just tuning in for the first time please subscribe like comment and share my video i really love it when you guys do that so this is the look we'll be doing today and the look by my left was gotten from instagram and i do hope that you enjoy love this look share comment i really really love you to support your girl please do that and i will be glad <laughs> if this video has helped you please do not fail to thumbs me up Thank you all so much. So first off, I'll be we're going to be tying a fine ghillie today. And first off, I'll be folding the edges of my ghillie and also making about four pleats on my ghillie before tracing them. While making these pleats, you have to make sure that they are neatly done and it's really nice. So I'm just going to trace this place towards my model's neck area. I'm just going to do that for the left hand side of her face and also the right hand side of her face. And just in case you don't know how to make pleats, I also have videos, um, detailed videos where I, I showed how to make pleats. So with us, you can really learn. It's really detailed, you guys. And trust me, you're going to... Definitely learn how to make pleats. So I'm just going to take this um, ghillie towards her, the back of her neck, and then bring them to the front. So the rule for this particular ghillie is 80-20. One side of the ghillie has to really be longer than the other um, side of the ghillie. That's just basically the measurement. So it's the longer side of the ghillie now that I'm bringing towards the front of her head. And she, as the mo she as the model, has to help me hold the shorter part of the ghillie so that everything does not unravel. So I just brought the longer part of the ghillie because it's that particular long part of the ghillie that goes back to her head to make the sh to meet the short one before I will be able to knot it. So I'm just bringing the long part of the ghillie and then trying to make some pleats on her head before moving forward. So for the pleats, you have to make like... Um, round pleats like the normal infinity ghillie you just have to start with making a um, round pleats and then trace these pleats towards the other side of her her face so the next thing you do is to start making your fan pleats so after making your infinity pleats which are the round the one that will give you a round shape you have to start making a fan pleat and that fan pleat right now has to be like you making straight pleats it has to be straight and not round so you just gotta hold the ghillie the way you're seeing me do you hold it firm like that so that it doesn't unravel and then start making straight pleats with the remaining part of the ghillie So just look at the way I'm holding it right now. Right now, it's only through this way that you'll be able to um, get that fan-like shape. You see, it's already um, become, becoming a fan. So you just have to make like straight pleats with with the remaining part of the ghillie left in your hand. You have to take note that your pleats right now don't have to be round. It's only when you're beginning that they can be round. As you can see, it has already formed that fan-like shape. So you just got to continue. And while doing that, you have to tell your model to hold the part which you've done. You have to tell her to hold your fan. And then after tracing all the pleats towards the back of her neck, you go to the back and then simply knot it. I, I made about two knots here. But if the ghillie is excessively long, you can make about three. 
thank you all for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video i really hope that it has helped you please subscribe like share do support your girl do support your girl and i will really really be happy and grateful thank you all for watching please watch out for my next video it promises to be exciting beautiful and wonderful just the way you are <laughs> bye i love you all <laughs>